Hello, thank you for joining us for today's demo. Uh, in today's demo, we're going to spend quite a bit of time talking about adaptive access control. It's worth taking a few seconds here to set up adaptive access control. Um, adaptive access control is truly the foundation of CASB and cloud security. It's what brings together user, user groups, location, IP addresses, devices, looks at the behavior, looks at your data protection policy, the user's location, and you can, uh, and interacts with your identity protection solution, which we'll talk about in another demo. But for the purpose of this, um, of this few minutes that we have today, I'm going to demo adaptive access control um, and it, it's, its ability to, to totally control data loss. So in this scenario, we're gonna prevent data loss based on location and we're gonna look at user risk score and how we can limit privileges. So here, let me go ahead and go through uh, my Salesforce, right? This is a, a business application that we all use here specifically, I'm downloading GDPR data. I'm downloading my Salesforce database for uh, my user information um, for US and Western Europe and a bunch of other regions, and I'm going to export this data. Uh, and, and by the way, I'm not showing this, but you can apply data rights management here where you can tokenize certain fields or the entire report. Okay, uh, but for the purpose of this demo, what I'm going to show you is a lot of us are worried these days about data exfiltration based on geography, right? We have GDPR for Europe, we have CCPA and a bunch of other regulations in the US, uh, tons of government regulations, Brazil, uh, Asia, right, Australia, China, etc. So what I'm showing you here is your ability to create that policy and block exfiltration of data based on geolocation. How cool is that? So now data, you can rest, be rest assured, you can rest assured that your data that is US specific, European specific, whether it's intellectual property, here I showed you um, PII data, but it could be uh, personal identifiable information, but it could be intellectual property. It could be any application, and I just happen to use Salesforce here as an example. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is user risk management. User risk management at Cypher Cloud is super powerful. Uh, user risk management in UEBA is the foundation um, of adaptive access control. And, and just look, this is not a full UEBA demo. I would uh, it, please go to the UEBA section. We have a pretty cool demo there as well. Uh, but what I do want you to see here is you can apply based on the user risk and where that data is coming from uh, about that user, their violations, malware anomalies. There's, there's a whole slew of other feeds that come into this and you can apply a lot of different policy actions. AIP Protect, again, our strong integration with Microsoft Office 365, remediation, remove permissions, um, step, up, step up authentication, terminate the entire, limit the user's privileges, right? Terminate the, the connection, uh, watermark the data, whatever it may be, you have a host of different remediation functions that you can apply. Um, furthermore, uh, you can use that as part of the authentication policy and you can do things such as be able to add uh, additional context to that user authentication, right? Regardless of where they're authenticating from, um, you, based on their risk level, you can have different remediation options. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching this demo and we look forward to having you in the future.